happy anniversary to Disney and Pixar's up from this guy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can fly. Yeah. I guess somebody is also having a case of the Mondays. You see her there? You think I'm making this crap up? What do I want at a vending machine? Right. All this is junk. There's zero, zero sugar Coca Cola. I'm not, I'm not having them. I'm on a diet. Come on, Paula. Let's get out of this place. Hey, 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 all the Marvel fans love me. I'm the best ride in this Disney park. Guardians Tower. Give me back my spot, please. You may think I'm jealous, but I'm not. Go away, you creepy tower. Guardians Tower. I'm gonna call the World Investigators. And all eight of those kids are gonna vanish you and your circus freaks. I love it when you get mad like the Hulk. Look how the Guardians of the Galaxy characters are enjoying this place here in the Avengers Land. They don't want a creepy tower like you. Ice hole. I got a bunch of bellhops that want to go back to my work. Chill out, dude. You are such an old attraction. Guardians, don't make me do a song and dance out here. I mean it from my purple heart. You got your older brother in Florida, your other brother in Paris, and your cousin in Tokyo. You don't belong in Disneyland anymore. Especially with your boring Hollywood story from 1939. Dude, I'm asking you politely. I want my spot back, please. Be gone, Tower of Terror. You've been here since May of 2017. I mean, you're like the Conan of the park. I want my spot now. Talk to the hand tower. Oh, wait, I just realized I don't have any hands. I'm just a tower. Dude. I got folks from the Bugs Life that wants their land back too. Give us back our stinking lands. I want to thank the Marvel fans that want the Marvel themed land to place you and a Bugs Land. Such an overrated Pixar movie. Okay, you fart knocker. You want to go? Let's go. Hold on a second. There's a lot of people in the park right now. You know you might get in trouble for what you're about to do right now. Hmm, something's missing. Suck eggs, Marvel! <laughs> See ya, Paul. This is what happens when we go to drive for a suite. This is what we got to deal with. People behind us. And people in front of us. We just want our food, don't we? And now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dogs and cats, we will now show a sneak peek from Red's Clingy Unicorn coming soon. Tula! The theater near you, or your TV, or your cell phone, or your computer, or your blockbuster video store. Paul, just showed the viewers the clip. Okay, sorry. Enjoy the clip, folks. Um, Rainbow Unicorn, is there something going on with you? Because no offense, but you're kind of making Red feel uncomfortable. Ugh, no way, Tom. Nothing's wrong with me. I feel like I'm in love with Red. What? You do? <laughs> well, good for you. Oh, thanks, dude. Red and I have been very good friends together. But sometimes I dream about him every night. Well, that's nice. I guess. Hey, um, Rainbow Unicorn, can I ask you something? Sure. You can ask me anything. Do you even like old music like Michael Jackson, 
Elvis Presley, and even the Beatles. I love those guys. <gasps> of course I do. I especially love Michael Jackson and Elvis Presley the most. But music isn't the same today anymore, like Justin Bieber, for example, or Ariana Grande, and even One Direction. Yuck. All of today's music is complete garbage. Really? Red and I agree, too. Yay! I'm so happy you're a good friend to me, unlike Red. Well, why? What did Red ever do to you? Because Red was so mean to me. Can you talk if he's okay? I'll be happy to do so. Red, I think you're right. She might be in love with you. What? Is she crazy? Yeah, I guess so. But she said she'll only be here for the night. Well, my mind says she'll only be here in the next 10 minutes. Ugh. I just hope Red's not mad at me. I'll make some animal noises to impress Red while I'm at it. And maybe he'll be in love with me. <clears throat> what's up, fellas? Hey, what's up, Jay? What's up, Jay? What's happening? Well, Rainbow Unicorn said that she's in love with me. So? She loves you. But, but, but she's my friend, not her boyfriend. Quack, quack. What was that? I don't know. So anyway, I was invited to her house one night, and she introduced me to her parents and her sister, and she labeled me as her boyfriend. I knew it! Yeah, and she's, Mom, Dad, I would like to introduce you to my boyfriend, Red. And her mother is like, Uh, Rainbow, you can't say he's your best friend, not your boyfriend. But her dad, on the other hand, was like, Oh, he's a great birdie. We would love him to have be part of the family. What? Go figure. Meow, meow, meow. Was that a cat? Guys, can we just play a game called How to Ignore Rainbow Unicorn in 15 Minutes? Yes! yes. Ba, ba. Hey, look, we got an email from Hal. Oh, cool. He wants to know how we're doing. We haven't seen him in like a while now. Whoa! <laughs> Pardon me. That was so gross. But those grilled cheese sandwiches we had for lunch were delicious. Watch this. <clears throat> Ooh, that's okay, Rainbow Unicorn. It's totally normal to everybody. Stuff happens. Ooh, yep. <laughs> You're so funny. I know, right? Tell me about it. Oh, now you're finally being nice to me. Yay! I've been impressing you by making animal noises, and it worked! 